So it's um, August 29th, Sunday morning. First, uh, first morning of my hunt. It's um, really smoky from some fires. Um, it was really smoky yesterday when I got here. I went for just like an evening little walk around, and uh, as I was excited because there's lots of elk sign. Um, I pulled some the cards from some of my game cameras, and I I counted five different bulls in here, and about well, there were at least three herds of 75 elk apiece come through. Uh, one was on the 24th, the one that was on the 26th, today's the 29th, <laughs> and there's nothing in here. I saw three does this morning, um, th um, but that was it, and, but there's so much elk sign in here. It's, it's cool, it's fun, it's exciting, you know they're here, and hopefully a matter of time before I can throw a dart at one, but, um, They've left me a lot of parting gifts. Look at this. Yes, big piles of elk doo doo everywhere. You can't go like 10 steps without seeing it. So hopefully the herd will come back. Um, we'll see. Well, it's day two, and I am four, four and a half miles from camp. I've been hiking all morning, hiking, calling, hiking, calling, and uh, I see nothing and I've heard nothing, but um, it's been so frustrating today because the wind is swirling every time I get good wind and I think I'm in a good setup boom the wind changes and it's very frustrating anyway I'm gonna go back drink a beer make some breakfast make some breakfast lunch brunch dinner whatever it is and uh, then I'm gonna go try to shoot a deer tonight I'm not gonna go up and shoot elk because Gosh, it just seems like the elk have just cleared out tons and tons of fresh sign, especially on um, that ridge over there. I decided to see if this ridge had as much sign as that ridge, and not even close. There's nothing over here. This is like the dead zone, so I'm going to go back over there tomorrow. Anyway. Maybe take a nap, too, because I'm really tired. Anyway, I'll show you what the other ridge looks like. Did I mention I haven't even seen a deer today? It's crazy. <laughs> Uh, could be the wind. It's probably the wind. The wind's been giving me away ever since I woke up this morning, so maybe I should have. Yeah, I don't know. One of those days. So yesterday was probably one of the most frustrating days. Yesterday was day two. Today is day three. And, uh, oh, so windy yesterday. Swirly wind everywhere. Every time I get set up, it switch. And then... And then I just, I kept running into groups of cows and cat like moo cows, cows, and they would just tear off through the timber, sticks popping for a half mile, and it's just cows and the wind. And then um, I have this water leak in my trailer, so I can't get a seam to get that fixed. 
Oh my god, yesterday was so frustrating. I almost packed up and went home, but day three, it's a great day. There's no wind, it's just a slight breeze. So much better than yesterday, so we're gonna give it another go. So, as you know, I hunt by myself. Not by choice, but just because I haven't found somebody that can take as much time off and is crazy obsessed and sick about hunting as I am. <laughs> um, I'm very blessed to be able to take quite a bit of time off, but I do hunt by myself, but not entirely by myself. Check out this girl. Huh? She's supposed to distract the big boys while I put them down. <laughs> but we haven't had a chance to. But this is my new um, 2020 hunting partner. So I'm, I'm sitting here in the shade. Nice, beautiful day. It only got to about 65 today. So every once in a while the wind comes up and it's kind of cool. But I found this cool little wallow um, running water and um, it looks like elk have been in it, although not recently. So I just thought, what the heck, I have the wind finally going in the right direction. I'm just going to sit on this um, water hole and see what comes in. So I've been here for about an hour <laughs> and I've had the best time watching the squirrels pack away winter food or whatever, food for the day. They're, they're very industrious, that's for sure. Um, one got like within two feet and uh, so I know I'm I'm camoed and the wind's right everything's good if animals are crawling on me well at least um, I would be good if I were hunting squirrels but I'm not hunting elk and haven't seen anything today haven't heard anything uh, using this time with no elk around to work on my bugle because it sounds a lot better, or it sounds a lot different outside than it does at home in my house, right? It's like singing in the shower. Uh, yeah, so anyway. Uh, got my cow calls down. Got all kinds of them. Calf calls, really horny cow call, desperate cow. <laughs> the desperate cow part's not hard to do. <laughs> Today is a much better day. No wind, still no elk, but I'm going with my face. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun today <laughs> with this face paint. I've never done this before. <laughs> 51 years old, and I'm just I'm going native. <laughs> We're gonna have fun today. Oh, it's day four. Yesterday was a brutal day, a fun day, awesome. I hiked almost eight and a half miles. Um, again, I never saw an animal <laughs> other than my friends, the squirrels, who love to yap at me all day long because I'm walking through the forest. But um, I sat on water holes, I sat on trails, I cow called. I didn't bugle because it's early, it's only September 1st, and I haven't heard any bugles. I'm going to let the men of the forest to let me know when they're ready to start listening to bugles or responding. Um, but I, um, I woke up, set my alarm at five o'clock this morning and when it went off, my body said, no, you're not getting off this morning. <laughs> my body was, we need more time. So I slept in till 8.30 this morning, had a nice cup of coffee and now we're going to go explore some new country and see if we can't find where these elk are hiding out. Anyway, it should be another fun day. It's hot. 
It was 93 degrees yesterday and very little wind. So the other day I was bitching about how it's too much wind and it's swirly and I could never get the wind right. Yesterday it was no wind, but it was extremely hot. So I, maybe I'm just a whiner. I don't know. But anyway, I'm looking forward to today, albeit it's a late start. Day four. Uh, I've just had a nice walk down this road and uh, again, haven't seen anything. It's day four. Um, but I still think it'll happen. It's really hot. Oh, it's like 90 degrees and uh, that's not pleasant <laughs> when you're hiking through the woods. So sitting by this creek feels really nice. Good morning. It's day five and I hiked up oh, midway at the top of this mountain by moonlight this morning because there's like a waning full moon. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and I have just been tormented by squirrels. That's it. Squirrel day. I've even put my um, game face on today. So there's about, I would guess, at least a hundred elk in here. Um, at least a, uh, maybe a couple of days before the opener. And um, then, mysteriously, the gate was left open and then a bunch of cows came in, like 30 head. And elk and cows don't jive. And so, the elk left. Right before I got here. So, it's been really frustrating. But I'm going to show you some game photos right now. Um, that were taken on my game camera, and you can see why maybe I am so frustrated. <laughs> um, and I'm just hoping that the elk come back. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go up on Forest Service ground and um, BLM ground. There's some state ground over here, and try to go find elk because they're not on this property, and um, that's a real bummer. So now that you've had a chance to look at some of the pictures from my game cameras, th that was those photos were taken um, like the week before the opening of elk season. And uh, then the cows came in, the gate magically fell down in the back, far back. Cows came in, no wildlife. So now I have to go try to find it.